Hello. Well, I think as this year has unfolded, I've come to have much more imaginative empathy with the three Magi in their journey of following the star to the place of Jesus' birth. I expect, as the poem explores, they were coming through the worst depth of winter and it would have been a hard journey. But they persisted, just as we have done through a demanding and, uh, for many of us, quite an exhausting year. Many things that we've had to confront and to work with that have been outside of our immediate familiarity, but things that nonetheless we've embraced with determination and courage so that the ministry and life of the church can prosper as well as it can in the present time and be planned to be robust and responsive to the likely challenges into the future. Uh, unlike them, we're not just following the faint glimmer of a star, we follow Jesus who is the light of the world. So we have a far greater clarity in the journey that we walk than they could ever have imagined. Not that that seems to make our journey of discipleship easier. But when you think of it, it should be, shouldn't it? It should be more natural, more complete, more readily undertaken because the clarity of the light of Jesus whom we follow, Jesus, the light of the world. That light that we celebrate coming into the world in its unique way at Christmas. So as you anticipate these great events and as you prepare for the weeks that come afterwards and uh, all that the life of things will offer in 2021, I pray for you that you'll be resilient, you'll be able to renew and recharge your strength, uh, your sense of optimism uh, in the things that sometimes we might feel jaded in, that we can find uh, those edges are shed from our personality, our temperament. And that we can know as we bask in the light of our Saviour that we have a renewing presence in any fatigue we have, uh, even any cynicism that's crept in, any sense of despair at the affairs of the world or the affairs of the church, that we can have a, a clarity of proximity as we follow Jesus in our daily life, in all the things that we do, in all of our hours. Next week I'll be uh, sharing with you my uh, Christmas message, which will be uh, out on YouTube and in other places. But I speak today to encourage you as you continue your journey through these concluding days of 2020. And I do pray for you that you will find the celebration of Christmas uh, deep, rich and rewarding and refreshing and renewing to your faith and your discipleship and through that to your ministry. May the Lord Jesus bless you, keep you, Watch over you and protect you this day and evermore. Amen.